sure? I hope so. You never know with these old games. quiet for this given the choice whether to rule a corrupt and failing empire or to challenge the fates for another throw a better throw against one's destiny what was a king to do One can only match, move by move, the machinations of fate, and thus defy the tyrannous stars. So I returned to the sanctuary of my enemy, the fortress of the Sarafan Brotherhood, deemed impossible for any man to penetrate. <laughs> impossible for any man. Deep within these walls my prey awaited. Mobius the Time Streamer, deceiver and eternal gamester, using living beings as his pawns. In the end, we'd rooted out an entire nest of the fiends. But we had swept that area already. Not well enough, but no matter. We purged every last one of that brute with fire where their souls now rest. Lord Mobius will be pleased. It was time for Mobius to answer a few questions. I hoped for his sake to find him in a forthcoming mood.
From time to time, it is necessary to feed. And the unusual event of a feast prepared by the Seraphan must be savored.
What was that? The touch of water is like acid to a vampire. I had to find another way to pass. was not yet powerful enough to shatter these barriers, but there was something to this. Locked. What a love of doors these pathetic humans have.
This emblem was unmistakably of vampire origin and designed to enhance the Reaver's power. But this coincidence seemed too convenient. Mobius clearly meant for me to find it. Sound the alarm! Vampire! Don't let him escape! Surround him! Surrender, fiend, and we will promise you an easy death. I could promise you the same, but it would be a lie. Die, vampire! resonating effect on the Reaver. This door had been equipped with a singular lock, requiring an unusual key. Somehow, I would find it.
will be done. The stage is set. You needn't linger in the shadows, Cain. It has been a long time, hasn't it? No banter, Mobius. You know why I'm here. Yes, Raziel. You sought to introduce your own pawn into this game, and now he's been swept from the board. By your hand, I suspect. Where is he? Perhaps you should ask, when? <laughs> How humiliating it must be for you to come begging at my doorstep for answers. Enough wordplay. Don't threaten me, Cain. You see, I have the upper hand. How remarkable that the great Cain should succumb to the scepter's power like any common vampire. <coughs> Still so arrogant after all these years, thinking you've devised some brilliant plan. You know nothing. You have read the signs, but missed their meaning. You believe you are that myth of vampire prophecy, the scion of balance, and that Raziel holds the key to fulfilling your destiny. <coughs> But your messianic delusions have blinded you to Raziel's true nature. You have no idea what you've unleashed. There was a time when you might have heeded wise counsel when it was offered. Now, your vanity has made you witless. You will have to learn the truth for yourself. You'll be needing this. Your strength will return after I have departed. But by then, you will have more urgent concerns than pursuing me. Perhaps, when we next meet, you will have learned a little humility. These strange creatures seem to manifest from the very shadows. Mobius's attempt at stopping me was not one of his better efforts. When I found him, it would be my turn to offer a few surprises. Surrender, Raziel. Abandon this petty rebellion. It was I who made you. Your life had played out, and in my grace, I spared you. You are my reaper of souls. You have no other purpose, no higher destiny. Just this. Accept your calling, Raziel. Let go of these vain hopes. Relinquish your will, and feed. No. What do you profit from this defiance? There's some grim satisfaction in infuriating you. My patience is eternal, Raziel. How many eons can you bear to languish here? The wheel of fate must turn. All are redeemed in the cleansing agony of birth, death, and rebirth. This is the engine of life the purifying rhythm of the universe to which all souls are irresistibly drawn. Yours is a necessary and noble function, Raziel. Enough of your sermonizing. Are you trying to bore me into submission? Why must this game go on? We both know what you are. You are no better than the vampires you so despise. Of 
voracious parasite, cloaking its appetite in a shroud of righteousness. I refuse to do your will. I can see into your heart, Raziel. It is not your will, but cowardice that keeps you here. How so? You know what fate awaits you when you leave the underworld. That phantom weapon you bear is a constant reminder, isn't it? The sword is waiting for you out there somewhere, and you tarry so as not to meet it. I could not deny it. As long as I lingered here, defying my captor, I was able to postpone what I feared was my inevitable doom. To become the ravenous spirit imprisoned in the Reaver Blade. But that sentence was no worse than the stalemate I now endured. Better to face one's destiny than cower from it. Harvester of souls, I created you. And to this function, my angel of death, you will return. Enough. Yes, I submit. Very good. Indulge your hunger. Yes, embrace your calling, Raziel. You will find that just as defiance has its price, so obedience has its rewards. And submission is not always what it seems. Below me swirled an ominous-looking mist. I knew that if I fell, it would mean my peril. Do you believe your worthiness is so easily proved? Your way is sealed until you have offered further evidence of your obedience. I must feed you before I depart this place. You must feed yourself, Raziel. The wheel must turn. Ah, now you understand. Remember, you are mine. You can no more escape from me than you can escape yourself.
You want this room cleared of its vermin? If you wish to leave it. Your will be done. My good servant. Where do you think you are going, little soul? You can't escape! Raziel! escape had not been anticipated, or my benevolent master would not have expended such efforts to prevent me from going. And if my departure displeased him, then that was a victory, however small, for me. In the spectral realm, water is as thin as air, putting this opening far beyond my reach. But once I found my way into the physical world, I might be able to swim up there.
This door would only open when fitted with an appropriate artifact. But to use such an object, I would first have to find a way back into the material realm. At last, I discovered a conduit into the material realm. I would finally escape the spirit world and take one step farther from my tormentor. <laughs> Did you think to receive the same favors after your rebellion as before? No, Raziel. I have no need for you to enter the physical world, so no conduit will be granted. You serve me adequately as a wraith, and a wraith you will remain. So, my restraints had not been removed, only loosened. I would not be held prisoner in the spectral realm. There had to be another way. As I emerged, I was granted a vision of what I would become if I did not escape the Spectral Realm. For these two were agents of my master, hunting the lost souls that struggled to escape the endless twilight of the Underworld. The master's plan for me was ominously clear. Like these mindless hunters, I existed only to fuel him with souls, siphoning their energy to feed him and his wheel of fate. I had to break these bonds, while I still possessed my own will. This artifact seemed as though it was made for that unusual lock. Now the door could be opened. Buffering super badly. Well, that's unfortunate. But I do have it recorded, so I'll just upload it later without all the buffering. That sucks. It's that Louisiana shit can internet.
exactly. Also the gators. They're chewing our damn internet wires. These things are like pinpoint accurate, I hate these. Malik, the great Seraphim warrior. I had met him before. His sword and shield seemed to have gone astray. It's another bot. Seems like the ad box was really hit switch hard. Ha <laughs> 
Yeah, they did, or at least I think they did. They, they 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 rolled out a bunch of ads or something like that. And I think that their revenue stream is down or something. All I know is I heard a bunch of people complaining about it. And also DMCA strikes, like a lot of uh, Twitch videos that have copyrighted music are being deleted for, uh, you know, copyrighted music. what I want to gonna do about it. This shit's been going on for a long ass time. Just another way that people can erode your rights or get away with taking away the stuff that you have. Twitch and YouTube, they just fucking roll over for them. They don't care. Find your master. <laughs> Quickly, Mobius is in the tower. Good. like the French people did for their revolution. We need a second American revolution.
people. That's because of their poorly thought out immigration policies. It really didn't have to end up like that, but they just were not thinking clearly. We'll just let anybody in. Fucking, what could go wrong? What could go wrong in D, Kiro? Alex's missing shield. I hated to restore his dignity, but I would need to return this to his monument before I could progress. Except for the angle. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
However distasteful this errand was, I would return it to its proper place. I look forward to finding Mobius and resuming our conversation.
There's a huge, big lot of them over there. It's lane. Apparently, I wasn't invited. Alright, the next point that I get to Raziel's segment is when I'm gonna take a break. This artifact, joined with the relic I discovered earlier, appeared to be but one fragment of a larger emblem. This shard was endowed with elemental fire, enhancing both the Reaver and my telekinetic powers. like somebody on the other side of the wall but I can't I can only interact with them with telekinesis they 
least that's what it sounds like. I can't. Here you are at last. I see you found a fragment of the Balance Emblem. This will be of even further use to you, if you can find the other three. Now, shall we? Yes. Let us continue our conversation, but on a somewhat different footing. Now, what do you have to tell me, Mobius? You cannot kill me! We both know that this is not how or when I die. Death is not the only possible outcome. Your delusions of fulfilling the vampire's foolish prophecies have badly distorted your judgment. And Raziel is not what you think. You dare imagine what I think. So, you prevented Raziel's soul from entering the Reaver. Do you believe for a moment that by this you have averted your fate? Or his? Or that of Nosgoth itself? Your manipulations are pathetic. Yet Raziel retains his free will. And that's what frightens you, isn't it, Mobius? You cannot see his path, and so you cannot control it. And neither can you. Yes, Raziel is shrouded from us, but we see the ripples of his potential actions, and every path he might choose leads to the same outcome. He will kill you, Cain. In sparing Raziel, you have written your own death sentence. You still have not answered the question I came to ask. Where is Raziel? He is not in a true sense, here. Not now. Don't try my patience, Mobius. What have you done with him? 
He is contained. In time, it may be safe to release him. His destiny must be completed. He will enter the sword. But until that time, he is dangerous. Far more dangerous than you could understand. And your incontrovertible evidence? The answers are plain, if you know where to look. Go west of the pillars. There you will find a testament written in stone. But stones too can lie. The pillars of Nosgoth stood pristine against the horizon. To the west, I would find the enlightenment Mobius felt I lacked. There had to be a way to escape the spirit world without the help my master was pleased to deny me. Only in the material realm would I have a chance to seek my destiny, or change it. I'll see you later. Next time I might have Ultra Kill ready to play, so I'll let you know if that happens. Just for Mr. Kiro. Fucking <laughs> like new blood shield. Wondering when he was gonna show up. Took him long enough. That's all he has to say, too. It's over for now, but I'll play another game in a little bit. Or maybe like an hour or something like that. Some point in the future. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Exactly. All right, well, I gotta go for reals. I'll be back.